Hello. In this video, we're going to be painting a cute little froggy. Um, get your paint on your plate. I've got these colors. Um, towel for drying off your brushes, your different brush sizes, and of course your jar of water to clean your brushes. So to start, we're going to do the background, and it's going to be different shades of blue. And we're going to start about like right here. We're going to leave some of this bottom open to do kind of like some darker colors and like the ground. So I'm going to start by just taking, I'm going to use my smaller brush just to mix up some paint. I'm going to just take a nice scoop of white over here into a little bit of my blue just to lighten up my blue a little. And I'll put in kind of a guideline. Let's go maybe right below the knee here and right below the knee here. Kind of like a little curve, just a slight curve to it. So he's kind of maybe on like a, a mound. So I'm gonna start getting my paint put on. Got a big old glob there, okay. I'm gonna just come around his little body and his leg. So this is nice, bright, rich blue to start. And I'll get up to maybe about here. And I'm gonna start adding a lot of white in. Um, I'm just gonna take white on my brush and just start blending it right in. I'm gonna work it upward so it gets lighter. And this can be kind of a messy blend. It doesn't need to be perfect. I like the texture that it kind of gives. And I just put my brush back and forth, go in different directions. More white. I'm gonna come up around this little eyeball bump. Make sure I get around this head nice. And just more white. I got lots of blue still on my brush. Lots of white. And I'm just every which way with the brush. A bigger brush for, on my canvas would probably be better just because my canvas is bigger. But this is working just fine. Just I just keep adding white. I don't have any more blue. I'm not dipping into any more blue. There's just so much blue on my brush. Just more white. I'm gonna come all the way around. I'm just back and forth every which way, getting lots of streaks. I'm doing that on purpose. I like that effect. Okay, I'm going to start over on this side doing the same thing. So I have my original blue here that I mixed up. I'm going to start getting that put on down here. You see how it stays nice and dark at the bottom. And as it goes up, it starts to fade. So we get our nice rich blue on. To about here. And I'm gonna fill the nice and even around this leg and his body. I'm just trying to make sure you get all those little canvas bumps filled in. And then with my dirty brush, like I did before, just take white and you're gonna start mixing the white in. And I just move up can overlap kind of smooth out your line here more white back and forth crazy lines adding nice fun paintbrush stroke texture I'm gonna come around my little dragonfly guy more white. Someone made a weird sound over there, kind of freaked me out, sorry. <laughs> white. 
white. And this is starting to dry over here, so it's not gonna be that blendable. Just some white on my brush. And if you're a little sloppy around your little bug here, that's okay. We'll go over top of it and clean up those lines. And I've just been using white because my brush is dirty and some of this blue paint is still wet. It just blends real nice. You can get all these fun, streaky, different shades of blue. Um, if you want to darken this up, if it got too light, just take more of your blue or even just some of the straight blue. Let me just kind of darken this a little, show you. So we can really get that nice and rich down in here. You need to blend it out just take some of your original light lighter blue go right over top do it again over here i just take some of my nice dark straight blue off the plate we can darken this up oops i had a lot of weight on my brush there and just every which way with your brush just spread it around we get this fun streakiness so you can go up further whatever you want just look at your work as you go and just decide what you think looks best okay I'm gonna clean out my brush get all the blue out I maybe go in with some just plain white just not with a nice clean brush and maybe kind of brighten this up a little. So just some white. And since it's pretty dry, it's still a little wet, but you see how it doesn't blend as much now? And it like lays on top of the color instead of blending with it. And you can get some nice bright spots that way. If it doesn't want to blend at all, you just take a little bit of your blue. So you have your light blue on your plate. You can just kind of smush that in. That spot looks kind of goofy. Let's kind of get that blended through a little. So yeah, the idea is that it's kind of streaky and fun. Um, next, I'm gonna we're gonna get this background part done. So we need to make a nice dark green. Um, I'm not gonna worry about washing my brush because we're gonna be mixing all these same colors into green anyway. I want a little bit of my blue. I'm gonna start stirring it in with yellow and I get this nice green. I want it a little darker, more blue. See how it makes that darker. And because this color is so transparent, you see how you can see the canvas through that really well. We wanna help kind of block that out. And to do that, we just gonna, we're just gonna take a little bit of white and stir that in. We don't want it super, super light, just a little bit to help with that transparency. So I'll just the same kind of method, just kind of messily brushing in. And while I work, I'm just gonna take little bits of blue on my brush and streak it in. So I've got my green, come around my little froggy toes and his little leg here. You can overlap onto that background blue a little if you want. So I got my greens on and then take a little blue and you can just kind of streak that through just to give it a little um, variation in the color. It's not just straight green. It has different shades of green from streaking the blue in. And we're not worried about those streaks. We're doing that on purpose. Just for a little more texture. 
And the same, let's see, we got his little, this little part underneath him. I'll get some green on, and then I'll take just plain blue. Blend it right up under him. And this I'm gonna try to be a little bit darker here because it is under the frog, and it's going to be, you know, more shadowy. And I gotta get under his little toes. <laughs> to do. Well, I just went over that little toe. That's okay. I'll put it back in later. A little bit more blue. We'll darken it. And over here, let's get some green on. Again, just kind of real loose and easy, sloppy. Take plain blue on our dirty brush and just start working it in. And I don't mix too much. Like if I try to go nice and smooth and get it all evened out, the color will all mix together and be the same shade. So I'm doing it messy on purpose so I have darker spots and lighter spots. I'll come up and get my edge. A little bit more blue, just in a few spots. Blend it in, get some different shades of green happening. And if you wanna go in and do another coat, cause you're like, hmm, it's kinda, I don't really love that streaky effect. That's fine too. Um, I do want this side to be even darker yet. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red and mix it over in with just a small area of my green over here. And it kind of gets this murky brownishness to it. And with that kind of murky green, I'm just gonna throw in a few little spots, get under his butt hair, his shadow. Cause you know, it's like kind of muddy. He's could be on a lily pad. Need to mix up a little bit more. That's got way too much red in it. As you can see, it actually looks red. So there, that's better. And just kind of put in some of these darker green, almost brownish green. The avocado. Just to darken up maybe that side a little bit. Uh, I like that. I'm gonna get up right up next to his leg here. That way when I paint the leg, there isn't like a weird patch that looks lighter. Okay. We got the whole background filled in. Hooray. Next we can work on our froggy. And he's also green, but he's going to be a nice bright, like limey green. So I'm going to start with a nice fresh clean brush. Dry it out on my towel. And so I have this green here, I'm gonna add more yellow to it. So if you don't have any more green, you're just going to add a little bit of blue and just some yellow until you get this nice bright green color here. And we're gonna lighten it even more by adding some white, quite a bit of white. So a nice big old scoop of white, stir that in. And you can get this nice, nice green i love that so let's start with this little leg let's get that filled in Very cute. We'll do this leg. I 
And I'm gonna kind of scrape off my brush because it's got a lot of green paint on it. I'm gonna just take a little bit of white on my brush and I'm gonna blend that through. And it just kind of helps smooth it out. And let's see, I feel like I need a little bit of a darker green too. So I'm gonna make a little darker green over here. Some blue and some yellow. Nice dark green. A little bit of white stirred in. So it shows quite clearly as I'm making it that it is darker than this other green. So that's all that really matters. You just need your green to be a little darker than what you did, did for the leg. And I'm just gonna kind of brush it along the top side and blend. It doesn't take much on your brush. Just kind of make this nice curve. You're right on the edge where it meets the body. Same on this, just kind of around the edge. And then just lightly brush it in the kind of shadow around. Well, I'm just gonna brush it all on. Okay, so next we'll do the body. Um, I'm gonna clean out my brush so I have a nice um, clean brush. I don't have any of the dirt green on it. I'm gonna use my bigger brushes because this is a nice big area. My lighter green. Get that brush done. Take some white, blend it through, kind of smooth him out a little. Then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go to my smaller brush, just because I don't wanna get too much of the darker green on. Take my darker green, and on this side, I'm gonna Get a nice swoop of that color on there. And there's a little belly and a little on the side. And you can just kind of go back and forth until it blends. I'm gonna add just a little bit more white kind of in the middle here and kind of go outward. So those colors all just kind of seamlessly blend together. Very light handed and very little white on my brush. I'm just very softly swooping and getting her little belly filled in. The head is gonna be the same process. Um, you do have that smile line drawn on. If you are not concerned with that getting covered by the paint and you're confident you can put that line back in all by yourself, awesome. But there's a little trick. You're just gonna use a Sharpie marker and cover it. I need to find a Sharpie marker. Hold on, I'll show you. Definitely want black permanent. I've learned this in, in time. In the last couple of videos I did for the adult kits, I tried using something else and it just created more problems than it was worth. So you can go ahead and just quick outline if you've got a permanent black marker. It needs to be permanent. Otherwise it bleeds and that color gets put into your paint and it's just yucky. So to avoid that black permanent or just don't do that at all, paint over it, and then just put your own line in. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. 
So we're gonna start this process over, just like we did the body, we're gonna do the same, excuse me, on the head. I've got my lighter green. I'm gonna just get this whole head filled in. smoothing out my paint get it all covered evenly taking a little white on my brush and go right over top a little bit more blend it right in when I add the dark green. So I got my darker green. And let's see, we're gonna just kind of put it around the edge. Just very light-handedly back and forth to get it to blend out. Get a little up in here. And I'll take my bigger brush. Or you could just use the same brush. I just get, you get less streaks with a bigger brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of white on my brush, just very little, nice clean brush, very little white. And just go right over top and just right smoothing those edges. Oops, got off on my background a little. Just kind of softens your edge so you don't have like stripes. So it kind of smushes the lighter green right into that darker green. There. All right, lastly, we just need to get his little feet. So again, I'm gonna start with my lighter green. Kind of running out, that's okay. I think I got enough. Oops. Ended up getting dark green in it. We'll just mix up a little more. So nice light green. I'm gonna come in and paint this little feeties. He's got these little circle ball toes. I'm gonna get those. I might have to flip my canvas just to be able to get at these. Maybe I can get them. I just have this lip on my easel. This one I accidentally covered. I'll just put a little, new little toe there. Get the other one. Now I'm gonna come in with some darker green. I'm gonna brush down right on top of this one. I'm gonna swirl it on the toes a little. So I just kind of brush it down towards the bottom. Get the toes a little bit. there he's got little feeties very good next we'll work on our dragonfly 
I'm gonna do the wings first. And I'm just gonna fill those in white for right now. So just clean brush, white paint. Just go ahead and fill in those wings. Clean up your edges if you got messy with your background. I did. Doesn't really clean up perfect, but I'll put a little outline on them and that'll help. And then I'm gonna take just the tiniest bit. I've got some of this light blue here. Just an itty bitty bit on my brush. And I'll just kind of very, very little because I want them to not be the same color as my background, but I just want a little tint on them. Then the center, I'll use this nice bright blue. Not even cleaning my brush, just picking up some of this blue. And I'm gonna just fill in this little body. You can do it darker, whatever you decide. You could pick a different color entirely. So I've got this little body. And I'm gonna make a little bit of purple, just take a little bit of red. I'll mix it in over here. Turn a little bit of this purple. See how that's it's kind of like a periwinkle, bluish purple. That's fine. And I'm just going to put some outlines on my dragonfly, kind of on the bottom. Something like that. That looks good. You can even put some down the side of his body. I like that. Um, next, we need to do his eyes, cheeks, mouth. So let's start with cheeks. We can't do the mouth until the cheeks are on. So some cheeks, we're gonna make a nice pink color, little red and white. Some lot more white. So I've got this nice pink and right on the ends of the mouth. I'm just gonna do in some circles. And that green kind of shows through a little bit. I'll just take, scrape off my brush. Just take some white, plain white on your brush. Well, I think my green was still wet. I think that's the problem. Wait for your green to be dry. You just make them both the same. Cause that green is definitely blending in. So I'm gonna blow this dry and fix it. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know what I was thinking. Silly, silly. My light pink. Oh yes, much better. Now it actually looks pink. It's got these cute little circle cheeks. Fabulous. And we're gonna put um, white circles inside of these little eye bumps for eyes. Again, I need to make sure that's dry. I didn't really blow it on that. Of those bumps. So I'll start small and just kind of go around. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top. It needs to be a little bigger than that. I need it to come down. Oops. And these great big eyes. All the way to the top. And just get those filled in. Probably need a second coat just to be nice and crisp. Blow it dry. Let's do another quick coat of white so that green has got good coverage. 
I'm not seeing it shine through. Okay. Let's see, what else can we do? Well, let's put some little dash like marks. So this dragonfly, he's gonna be kind of buzzing around. We want to put some little lines for him. So he's gonna kind of swoop down in here. He's got these little dash lines. He's gonna come behind the frog. We have dash lines. Just maybe like this curve and we can come down. And maybe do like a little curly cue on the end. So he's like, whoosh. Just a little something in the background, a little interest makes it kind of fun. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and think my cheeks are dry. When your cheeks are dry and your face is dry, we're gonna put the mouth on. I just use black paint, I thin it with a little water. So just take a brush, dip it in your jar of water, and then stir that water into some paint. So you don't want it super thin. So if you pick your plate up and it drips like that, way too much water. So you're just gonna make sure you just get more paint stirred in until you no longer have it dripping down. Because if it's dripping off your plate, it's gonna drip off your canvas and you're gonna have a mess. So I'm gonna use a nice skinny liner brush. I have this one. Just dip it in a little bit of my thinned out black paint. And I'm just gonna just go right over top of that Sharpie line. Honestly, um, cause this green doesn't cover that well. We probably would have been perfectly fine with the pencil line. We could probably still see that through. There's this little mouth. I'm gonna go back to the eyes. Using a small brush, maybe not that liner brush, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use some of this bright blue up here that's got the white kind of stirred in with it. Little on my brush. And on the left hand side of each of these circles, I'm just going to put in kind of a half, half circle swoop on each. Oops, I knocked my thing. And when that's dry, we can put in some eyes and like the pupils of the eyes and some eyelashes. Meanwhile, I'll do some white highlighting. I'm gonna use my medium to small brush and just with some white paint, we just give it a little highlight here, a little swoop. I'm gonna swoop down his head. Maybe it can be a little swoop over here. Down his body, up on his knee, and get this little knee, a little here on the body, and let's give him some like little lines on the feet. We can maybe highlight a toe with his toes. A little swoop on those little balls. I think that that looks pretty good. His eyes look kind of creepy right now. <laughs> but they'll look better here in a minute. I promise you. Okay, I'm gonna blow it dry. Some black paint. I'm gonna use that thinned out black paint because it works a little better for me. And let's put in some pupils, kind of looking up at that dragonfly. And some little eyelashes. Very 
cute. And then one last thing, maybe. Feels like it needs like little nostril holes. I'm gonna take my darker green. And I just kind of put in little, little, little air holes there for his nose. And because we always put a little bit of a reflective light in the pupil. Just take a little, oops, I got black on my brush. Need just a little bit of white on our brush. Just a little bit of white. And we're just gonna get a little spot in the pupil. Just look, I've got some paint there. And then we're done. I'll go ahead and sign my name. Maybe just some, I got this black on my brush here. Right down at the bottom. When you're finished, please take pictures for me. I love seeing them. Post to the pin post on the top of my Facebook page, Willy Nilly. That way I can see your work. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.